Today, I am going to show you how to set up your very own WireGuard VPN server on a Windows PC. Whether you are securing your home network or setting up remote access, WireGuard is a game changer. In just a few simple steps, you will learn how to install, configure and get your VPN server up and running on your Windows PC. So let's dive in. First, head over to the official WireGuard website and download the Windows installer. Once the download is complete, run the installer and you will have WireGuard installed in no time. Alright, with WireGuard installed, the next step is to generate the VPN server and client configuration files. To create a new configuration file, click the arrow next to add tunnel and then select add empty tunnel. WireGuard will create a pair of private and public keys for you. Give the tunnel a descriptive name, for example, WireGuard server. Note down the server's public key. Now add these settings in the server configuration file. The listen port is the port on which the WireGuard server will listen for incoming connections. This is the IP address that the WireGuard server will use within the VPN network. Save the file. Next, we'll create the client configuration file. Note down the client's public key. Now add these settings to the client configuration file. This is the IP address that will be assigned to the client device within the VPN network. These are the DNS servers that the client will use when connected to the VPN. The peer section contains information about the WireGuard server. Here, enter the public key of the WireGuard server. This tells the client to route all its traffic through the VPN tunnel. The endpoint is the address and port where the client can find and connect to the WireGuard server. Here, enter your server's public IP address. If you don't know your public IP, just search on Google for what is my IP. It will show your public IP address. Save the client configuration file. Now, we need to add the client as a peer in the server configuration file. Now, export the configuration files into a zip file. Extract the zip file. The client configuration file needs to be transferred to the client device. Next. Select the server configuration file and click on activate. By default, the client can only connect to the server but cannot access internal resources. To allow clients to access local resources, you need to share the connection on the server. Please follow the steps to do so. On the network connections window, share your wired or wireless connection with an interface called WireGuard server. You should also set up a static IP address for the VPN server. Finally, to access your VPN server from the internet, set up port forwarding on your router. This is essential if you want to access your home network from a remote location. Before proceeding further, check your router's WAN IP and the public IP of the computer running the WireGuard server. They need to be the same. If they are different, it means your router has a private IP address, which won't work for our WireGuard setup. Also, if your WAN IP changes often, 
you might need to consider using a dynamic DNS service to maintain a consistent host name for your WireGuard server. Once you have checked those settings, we can move on to setting up port forwarding. After setting up your server, let's move to your client device. I'm using my Android phone, but feel free to use any device you prefer. First, install the WireGuard app on your client device. Next, import the client configuration file into the WireGuard app. Currently, my Android phone is using cellular data. And here's my current public IP address. We are now connected to the WireGuard VPN. If I check my IP address again, you can see it showing the WireGuard server's IP address. So congratulations, you have successfully set up your own WireGuard VPN server on Windows. Now you can enjoy enhanced privacy, security and the freedom to access your local resources from anywhere in the world. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comments below.